Happy Monday, I'm Brooke Wallace filling in for Max Brantley with your Arkansas Times News headline updates for Monday, December the 11th. Roy Reed, who's reporting on racial conflicts across the South for the New York Times, illuminated and energized the civil rights movement in the 1960s, died on Sunday in Fayetteville of an aneurysm. He was 87. For the Times, Reed covered Martin Luther King's march to Selma and the violence at the Edmund Pettus Bridge and many other major civil rights struggles across the South. Later, Reed reported from the newspaper's Washington Bureau in President Johnson's final year and afterward, and from bureaus in London and New Orleans. He taught journalism at the University of Arkansas at Fayetteville for 16 years after leaving the Times and wrote several books, notably Orville Faubus's The Life and Times of an American Prodigal, Prodigal. His memoir, Beware of Limbo Dancers, was excerpted in the Arkansas Times in 2012. There was a polling underway earlier last week for 2nd District Congress. Among the test, U.S. Representative French Hill, a Republican of Little Rock, versus State Representative Clark Tucker, Democrat of Little Rock. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee was likely behind the poll. Tucker's name has long been floated as a congressional candidate. Two Democrats, Paul Spencer and Gwendolyn Combs, have already entered the race. On Friday, Governor Hutchinson issued a directive that largely solved the constitutional problems with the state's birth certificate procedures, which the U.S. Supreme Court have found in violation of the Equal Protection Clause and its treatment of same-sex parents. It's a simple fix. If a mother gives birth and has a female spouse, the couple will be treated the same as an opposite-sex couple, and the spouse will be presumed to be the parent. But Representative Bob Ballinger wants to keep fighting over the birth certificates and same-sex parentage. He said in the upcoming fiscal section of the legislature, he'll push to eliminate the presumption of parenthood afforded to married couples. Instead, Beringer, I'm sorry, Ballinger would try to dodge the equal protection issue by asking mothers to identify the biological father. Well, that's all your news for today. You can read more on the Arkansas blog. Thank you, and we'll see you tomorrow.